Hey, today you're going to attempt to uh, diagnose and confirm what appears to be uh, intermittent starvation for fuel. And the symptoms are you're driving along all happy and all of a sudden you'd be at a, you know, like a fixed throttle level and uh, just cruising along. Then all of a sudden, bah, 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 and you let off and, you know, it kind of recovers uh, and, and then you get back into it and it's okay. So it's similar to, uh, and I'll link it up here, the uh, diagnosing the sneaky weak ignition coil, uh, very similar symptoms, but in that case, it dies every time you get back to the same uh, point with a weak, weak coil giving it gas. This, um, you know, it, it comes and goes. You could be running, you know, at a good, good clip or you could be running just a little bit and it'll just conk out and let off and it recovers uh so anyhow um i've got a feeling it might be the uh fuel pressure i've got a mr gasket fuel pressure regulator so um i'm gonna go ahead and change some filters get that out of there and uh take it for a ride and see how it does so let's get started it's acting just like it's starving for fuel. Um, I've got the cap off here just to give myself a little bit more room, but I don't know if it shows, but this, yeah, let's see. And this is that Chinese distributor I put in last year, and I really need to get this out of here. Cause I mean, look at how tight or how loose that fits there. But anyhow, um, Let's, I've already loosened everything here. Now, I put the rag to catch fuel, and you notice no fuel has, has come out. So that's a bit of a clue right there. And so let's take a look here. There is a sign there that this must be, you can see right there, and that was facing down. So you can see right there that that's, you know, that's a sign that that's been leaking. And the fact that it's, you know, it's bone dry and usually you get some fuel running back out of there when you pull that off. Now I have, um, let's see if I can, there is fuel in the bowl, All right? So we know the bowl's not empty, so it's not, you know, leaking all out of the bowl and losing that. So, um, Anyhow, I had, uh, let's, there's really no fuel in there, and you know, if the fuel filter is plugged, a lot of times um, you, you just get piles of the little particulate coming out, and that's not happening. Um, I do have this fuel pressure regulator in there because these pumps do tend to run a little... Uh, these after, you know, these replacement pumps that are made in China or Mexico or wherever do tend to put out more pressure than they need. Now, my fuel filter down here, this one before the pump, my pump is right there. So this one's going in, um, is full of fuel. And it generally has been having a lot of fuel in it lately while it's running. And honestly, um... It shouldn't be full of fuel. You should see a flow through it. Um, this is that, um, I think it's a Mr. Gasket fuel pressure regulator. And honestly, they're, you know, they're kind of sketchy. Um, and I've, I've had them fail before. And it's real, you can't like really fine tune them. So they act almost more like a valve than anything else. Um, where you know it's you'll have very little pressure going through or then you move it a you know you move it one notch and then it's almost like it's all the way open so um i might go ahead and take that out and put another filter right there another clear filter i want to see what it looks like coming out of the coming out of the pump that will tell me what's going on you know i could have a uh, a problem with that pump and there's also that other video i will attempt to link i will try to link the video there we go 
up here um, where these these pumps um, and you can kind of look in there and see see how I've sealed a brand new one with JB weld because these things are just crappily put together and will leak oil the oil that's getting slung around from the timing chain will just come blasting out of these pumps and it leaks a lot. So I've gotten the habit of just sealing them with JB well before I install them. But anyhow, that uh, pump itself, uh, maybe my pump is cutting out. I don't know, but it's, it's kind of odd for that to be full, absolutely full like that. Um, and then when it's running again, I should see I should see a flow. It shouldn't be full, and I could, should see it kind of, you know, calling for fuel. Like if I hit the if I hit you know if I whack the throttle, then I should see more fuel flow through it. But generally, it really shouldn't be full. So um, anyhow, I'm going to replace these filters and eliminate. I'm going to think I'm going to take that out, eliminate that. I'm going to replace this. Put it all together and see what it does, cause um, it's it's been doing it like it started like maybe a day or so before it figures. I finally get this, get my air conditioning in, and uh, you know, <laughs> thing starts acting acting up and giving me um, unpleasant, unnecessary adventures. Now here's the filter from before the pump. This is going into the pump. And you can see several of the folds do have a good bit of, in fact, a lot more than I thought it would have with two brand new gas tanks. Um, a lot of fine particulate uh, caught up in there. Now that was probably the bottom side of the filter. Let's see. So, you know, it's not like that all the way around. Um, so that's probably, you know, that might be the, the top. But, you know, enough of the folds do have it, have some crud built up. In fact, they're full from one end to the other. So that could be a factor. Um, and that should have really stopped any crud from getting into my pump and... Uh, through the system and into my uh, the second filter uh, going into the uh, into the carb so I've replaced that okay I had checked the uh, fuel pressure uh, and just did it without filming it but um, when I removed the fuel pressure regulator here which um, apparently is the cause um, the fuel pressure was just over six uh, PSI. I mean, we can call it six and a half. So that's fine. Uh, I had this regulator in because the uh, other fuel pump I had, that first fuel pump that was leaking oil uh, where it was crimped together, um, that thing was at like nine PSI and it was just blowing past the needle. Uh, so anyhow, um, I knew my fuel, uh, fuel pressure was good. Just wanted to tell you, um, and where I put it was where I took this uh, fuel pressure regulator out and I put that uh, clear filter after the pump in between the pump and the carb and I eliminated that little small filter at the, the carburetor. Uh, so I checked the fuel pressure coming out of there. One thing I want to remind you of a uh, very uh, good safety tip here is, you know, when you check that pressure, you'll see that uh, it's going to be holding. Oh, another thing, pull the hot wire off your coil so the engine won't start. Um, you just want to check the pressure. So pull the wire off your coil, the hot wire, and... Um, uh, you know, that way it won't crank up and run while you, all you want to do is check pressure. Um, but the pressure will remain uh, on that. So you have to be very careful. So it's a good idea to wear a face shield, something to protect your eyes and face, and then put a rag over where, you know, the two would be connected and wiggle that apart and, you know, 
go slow and then you'll see the gauge going down when it's leaking the pressure and then you'll know it's safe to you know take it all the way out but that will shield that fuel from going you know everywhere and especially you know it's going to go straight to your eyes that's how that stuff works trying to determine a problem you want to change as few things as possible and then you know give it a try Okay, eliminated these, uh, I only had one, I had one of them I had set up to replace it. And these things, don't, don't get these. Um, you can see where they're, they're made. Um, they leak like a sieve, the front body of it, because of this crappy crimp job. And, and they're also crooked. I mean, the thing is all wompy jawed when you turn it to tighten it. And you start tightening it in and all of a sudden the back stops turning but the front keeps going and you know i'd cranked it up and it was spraying fuel out and uh you know i went to jb weld one and i was like you know what let me just find a fitting in my stash so uh took that filter out since i have a filter before the pump and you saw that running uh just a second ago and saw that good flow um in it so that's a i think it's a quarter inch i think pipe thread going into the carburetor and then a um you know that's a 5 16 uh inverted flare and then i put a filter right here a clear one i like those clear ones but um i need to drop it down some so i can actually say i can see it with the camera but i can't see it for real for real my view is something <laughs> like that. The camera I can get up underneath there. Uh, but you're able to monitor the fuel flow um, and tell what's going on. And as you saw just a second ago, and as you can see now, that filter is only uh, partially full. And when they're running, um, you know, that's kind of what you should, you should see. You should see a flow going through there um a full filter is kind of a generally a sign of some back pressure somewhere uh, up the line um or uh you know a clogged filter itself so i eliminated this regulator which i'm kind of thinking this was my problem i did more than one thing so it's hard to say but um I kind of think this, the diaphragm in here, however this thing works, I think has been um, just intermittently shutting off and causing me to be starving for fuel while I'm, while I'm running along. Like I said, I'd let off the uh, gas pedal and, you know, sometimes it would conk out and sometimes it would, uh, you know, sometimes it would pa, 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 come, come back and I could go back to, to driving it. Um, Unlike when we had the bad coil and, you know, it was the same thing. You, you'd load it up with gas and it would conk out and you let off and it would be, it would be okay. Um, you know, this, you could tell the difference that it was really not getting any, getting any gas. So, um, anyhow, uh, I've driven it around, seems to do pretty good. And, um, the whole point of this video is to kind of show you how you had you could have the same symptom yeah i had the same symptoms between a, a weak coil one time and fuel starvation this and uh you know kind of how to tell the difference between them well hope you enjoyed this video on diagnosing and confirming a fuel starvation uh problem um you know these get yourself some some clear filters, uh, whatever. I like these because you can take them apart. They are made of glass and they do sometimes vibrate. They will find themselves to vibrate loose, so make sure you have them tight. Um, I recommend two clear filters, uh, one before and one after the pump. Certainly you want to filter before the pump so that stuff isn't fouling up 
uh, your pump and then one more after it uh, just for good measure and it allows you to see what the uh, what the flow is and like I said if you've got if the filter is full um, that generally means there is some sort of uh, back pressure um, holding it you know holding it back so you should see you know the filter should really never be full and you should see a, a flow going through it um, if you have these get rid of them so you saw how I got rid of that and put a um, uh, fitting in its place and then put a, a clear filter uh, after the pump in its place and I think from what I can tell um, you know we did change a few things with filters and this but um, I think the spring in here you know might be just getting a little wonky whatever and these regulators gen any kind of regulator generally if it fails it fails to the off position restricted flow and since I was intermittently you know starving for fuel um, this is probably what the uh, what the problem was the only way to confirm it would have been to have a fuel pressure uh, gauge actively running while I was driving around so um, anyhow hope you found this uh, video useful and helpful, enjoyable, uh, entertaining, all, any of those things. Um, so if you did, go ahead and, you know, press down on your regulator, like and subscribe button and comment and share, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Thank you.